at the bottom of the hour, we're going to premiere, if you can use that term, shocking footage shot inside a, quote, drag queen festival held at a hotel in Austin, Texas. And if you think it's creepy when you see these fashion shows and little girls and little boys dressed up in adult clothing, I guess they think it's politically correct. It's okay to have young children next to men with huge cod pieces. Here, scroll down and show them. Basically naked, just with glitter on the man's genitals. Little girls, little boys, men humping the ground, twerking, children simulating it with women in hijabs, just all trying to be counterculture. It can't get any weirder. Total sexualization of children. We're talking about women and men bringing their children to a drag queen festival that looks like a gay parade, which have your parades all day, but everybody's pointed out it's something you don't bring your children to. So that's the next level, ladies and gentlemen. That's the next level of this coming up with Millie Weaver in studio at the bottom of the hour. And it is a total agenda all over the country and all over the Western world. And it's weirder than hell because they will also at these events have Muslim Democratic Party leader women wearing hijabs who then have family members that are known jihadists that write books about not letting women go out without a man, don't let women drive cars, and cut women's genitals off and throw gay people off buildings. So under the guise of tolerance, they're promoting the sexualization of children. And we're going to premiere the footage, and then we're going to post it. It's not posted yet. At Infowars.com. Now, we've got so much other over-the-top important news. Saudi Arabia scrambles fighter jets amid fears of war in the Middle East. That is escalating. Judge Roy Moore says he will sue the Washington Post and others over what he says are complete and total lies. Well, I don't know if Judge Roy Moore was trying to sexualize 14-year-olds, but we got footage at events all over the world, including Austin, Texas, this weekend, where it's men bent over, humping like they're having sex, with kids simulating it right next to them, with women wearing hijabs clapping, and then big old fat men with wigs on, pole dancing. And little kids there just in the midst of, clearly, the early sexualization of children and the fetishizing uh, of involving children in it, it is truly sick. And our crew gets there and, okay, videotape. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, we're streaming live on the Internet. Yeah, we've got Facebook showing it all. And little kids giving tips, giving money to the drag queens that dance for them. Uh, in fact, I should open the show up. Ladies and gentlemen, we have video of, of fat men pole dancing and little kids, little girls and little boys giving them dollars. Imagine you go to the local park and there's a guy on the monkey bars in, in a woman's dress wearing a G-string with his package with glitter on it, leaning over and then your children are giving them dollars. You would call the police. You would go insane. No one would believe you. It would be so weird. No one would believe you. It would be so weird. Notice the left tried to destroy Ted Cruz because there's a Republican once, and there was some other Republican. They went to a burlesque show that was just women scantily dressed but covered up. Pretty classy in my view. Imagine if Ted Cruz went to one with transsexuals, because we've been told Facebook officially said that's a hate word, even though it was never thought to be a hate word before. So we can't even use the word that they've banned. 
Again, it's all about the control of language, so you can't even criticize something that's then attached itself to the overall larger agenda. Sparkles shine at story time. St. Louis Post-Dispatch. And then what it is is a bunch of little kids being rolled up in front of a bunch of men dressed like women, scantily clad, and being taught, this is cool, this is fun, this is neat. That's just a newspaper article you brought in to show me. This is happening in every major city every week.